we knew there'd be some initial interest at least carrying over from Iowa versus LSU, Iowa versus South, Car South Carolina, um, but we, we weren't sure if that audience was going to last, but it is certainly, certainly lasting through this, this first half of the season. Um, as we look at the breakdown of the people who are watching, who are buying the tickets, who are investing their time and effort into this, do the numbers and, and the personalities line up well for the league? Yeah, I would, and and for any sports league, as, as especially in the U.S., but maybe globally even, any sports league is looking for younger fans, racially diverse fans, and female fans. And the WNBA is knocking it out of the park on all three of those, especially the young female fans, which are uh, a natural carryover from this this incoming rookie class and all the fans and the the audiences that they they build up in in their college days, but. Definitely carrying over to the WNBA. Look, looks looking to be a strong future. If you can establish those early fans and then carry them through a lifetime of viewership uh, with with great uh, matchups like Sky and Fever, uh, you're you're set up for success. We're in a really interesting time of the calendar, and, and as a former sportscaster, you know this very well. NFL and the NBA, they're very well established, but they're out of the way for the moment. Major League Baseball is its own thing, sort of the big three with those three. But you had, on one day, hockey, soccer, golf, racing, WNBA, all competing for attention. What goes into being kind of that fourth or fifth major sport, and can the WNBA seize that spot? And this is something I, I think that the WNBA has actually done really well uh, for, for this season. Maybe in past seasons they haven't hit this mark quite as well, but staying atop the news cycle, I'm just thinking through all the, the major storylines that we've seen over the past 20 games or so. Um, Reese versus Clark certainly carrying over from college, attendance records, venue changes, TV records, the rookie records that uh, Brink, Reese, Clark are, are, are breaking seemingly every week, the Olympics controversy around Clark, vets, the veterans not welcoming Clark, officiating, so many headlines continue to drive attention and, and social media conversation about it, and that's really uh, how you can expand your audiences if they continue to talk about you even when your game isn't on.